So the starters, orders, qualifiers will finish my stint of commentating for this week, and it's the hurdle qualifier first. And it's over two miles and seven furlongs this week for noughts or one twenties at the top. October sunset for Graham Clutterbuck, Prince Ents for Alex Cherry, Duty Magdalena, James Shea, Spending Spree, Paul Rhodes, Prince B, Kevin Minahan, Ruby Gallup, Daniel French, Bola Choir Oyster for David Robertson, Maximum Mayhem. Alex Cherry, Barking Athletics, Stu Gray, The Joker, and Three Jokers for Obi-Wan, and Unapproved Road for Padre Hogan. So I wonder what happened to Two Jokers. As they ready to start, and away they go. The October sunset. The first one to show. And we're on that strange track today, of course, where they, they don't go up the straight until the end of the race. They just keep running past it. Two shoots one at either end. They get to the first of the eleven flights, and it's Balakwire Oyster who's got the lead over on the far rail for David Rolston getting over the second flight. A comfortable lead of a couple of lengths. Uh, Balakwire Oyster is then Duty Magdalena is in the centre of the track. Second October Sunset likewise, and the one closest to us is Kevin Minahan's Prince B. But they're pretty tightly grouped. With the exception of the leader, again just a one grey in this field. Ruby Gallant doesn't seem to be anywhere near as many grey horses this season. And as usual, Bonacquire Oyster is in the lead. By about four or five lengths getting to the third flight. And in second place now Prince in those orange sleeves. Then the Joker, and Duty Magdalena and Prince B. Those four virtually in a line just tucked in behind them. Spending spree, then the grey Ruby Gallop. With three jokers alongside that one. October Sunset is the one that's widest on the track in those Welsh flag colours of Grand Plus. the orange sleeves of Maximum Mayhem following that one, and that one is now swinging out wide as well. And then the back to our unapproved road and Barking Athletic. So they get over the fourth. And Bola Choir Oyster. Is a clear five length leader to Prince B in second. And the Joker is third. Then Duty Magdalena fourth and Spending Spree is fifth. Prince is after that one and then Ruby Gallop. October Sunset and three Jokers. With maximum Mayhem on the outside and unapproved road and barking athletic at the back. So racing past the shoot again. Bola Choir Oyster has been clearing the lead all the way. Nothing's not close enough to challenge yet. Over the fifth, Prince B, one who's looking like getting closest at the moment. The Joker is going nicely in third, then spending spree on the outside. It's all the leader, Bola Choir Oyster, went right through that hurdle and has subsequently surrendered the lead to Prince B. Bola Choir Oyster on the flat regains his. Equilibrium and the jockeys pulled him together and he's now gone back into the lead again. As they race uphill. Bola Choir Oyster is about a length up again now on Prince B in second. Two lengths then to the Joker in the yellow in third. Then spending spree behind that one. Judy Magdalena sitting quietly on the fence. And the two Alex Cherry horses are coming wide together. One following the other Princess is the one in front. And the back two. Just getting a little detached, barking athletic and unapproved road. Past the shoot from the other end there. And Bola Choir Oyster has regained a full length lead. So Prince B in second. And the Joker third at October sunset. Spending spree going around the outside. Still wide open this one, you can see from what happened earlier on, just one little mistake by the leader and that full length lead can disappear in these hurdle races and Balakwire Oyster is the one that's got that full length lead at the moment. I mean, chased hard by Prince B October Sunset, Ruby Gallup McGray is now making a forward move and that one is taking a share of seconds, spending spree on the outside, the Joker's just shuffled back a little bit, I've got a frozen video so, oh goodness knows what happened there, and anyway it's Balakwire Oyster in the lead from Ruby Gallup in second, then October Sunset, Prince B, uh, Maximum Mayhem as they go past the shoot for the final time, and... 
you get to the shoot at the other end, they will shoot up it, I think. And it's Balakoy Oyster who's in the lead and getting over the ninth in front then from October Sunset in second. Ruby Gallop, spending spree then. Maximum Mayhem and Prince B embarking. Athletic is making significant looking progress as well as they get over the second last. And look at this. Barking Athletic has come from last to take a challenge for the lead. And it's Balakoy Oyster from Barking Athletic who's now gone on. Then comes spending spree in third. Prince B is in fourth. Then Ruby Gallop, October Sunsets after that one. They've still got three furlongs to go. One more flight to take. And Barking Athletic has come from absolutely nowhere to take the lead. Spending Spree is in second. Suddenly the long-time leader has dropped right away. But it's Barking Athletic and Spending Spree from Ruby Gallop. Over the final flight they go. And it's Spending Spree on the outside from Barking Athletic on the near side. Prince B's trying to get back into it. So too's Ruby Gallop and October Sunset. Shortly between these, they're inside the final furlong. And it's Spending Spree from Barking Athletic. Prince B, Ruby Gallop. And it's now racing inside the final half furlong. And the three of them are in a real battle and it's going to be Prince B who just gets up there taking I think Prince B is going to win it from Spending Spree second and Barking Athletic third Ruby Gallop fourth then October Sunset and all the way back to Princess and what a bizarre race that turned out to be with Barking Athletic just coming from last to first in a, a pretty impressive burst but just couldn't quite hang on and Prince B got back up to take it Uh, let's take a look at the full list of connections and so forth. And it's Prince B that takes it for Kevin Minahan. Spending spree second for Paul Rhodes. Barking Athletic third for Stu Gray. Ruby Gallup for Daniel French was fourth. And Duty Magdalena for James Shea was fifth. <laughs>